What's going on guys, it's your boy Thano here, and in this video I'm going to be doing my 5,000 subscribers Q&A video. I'm going to be answering your top questions that you guys gave me in the community post. Um, and yeah, we recently reached 5,000 subscriber guys, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much for staying with me, subscribing, and joining me on this journey as I continue to grow my YouTube channel. So to celebrate, I'm going to be doing a CSGO giveaway, and uh, many of you guys have guessed it, I'm going to be giving away the M4A4 Dragon King. All you guys have to do is comment below your trade links like comment and subscribe as always guys and uh yeah let's get right into this video all right so question number one best fast food restaurant and favorite item from that restaurant i honestly have no idea how this was the top rated comment in the community post um but i guess to answer your question my favorite fast food restaurant would probably be panera bread um, and my favorite item would probably be the chipotle chicken avocado melt. If you guys ever go to Panera, you guys should definitely check it out. The next question is, how old are you and why did you start YouTube? So I am in my early 20s, and uh, the reason I started YouTube was because I always had a passion for making videos. I always loved games, I always played a ton of video games when I was younger, um, and I always liked to record and uh, voice over and narrate stuff, so I decided to do it, why not? And yeah, it really kicked off. I mean, I found something that I thought I was good at, something that I liked doing um, and it just uh, went from there the next question is how much money did you spend on CSGO to answer your question way too much I don't have the exact number on me right now but I would probably bet it's around ten thousand dollars keep in mind that I have been playing CSGO since it came out moving on why is your voice so moist and hot I honestly don't know how to answer this question um, maybe it's the mic, maybe it's not, maybe it's just me. But either way, guys, I'm really glad you like the way it sounds and you continue to watch my videos. It really means a lot. Alright, so for this next question, it seems to be a four-part question, which is pretty interesting. When will you make your inventory public? I'm hoping to have it public in a week or two. I need to do the giveaways and get rid of all those stickers so that I can have room for nice skins. So yeah, it'll probably be in the next week or so. Soon, very soon, I promise. What is the next super nice skin you would like to obtain? Um, the next super nice skin that I would like to obtain... Oh gosh, this is a tough one. I mean, I already have a Howl, I have a Fire Serpent. You know, honestly, the next super nice skin that I would like to own would probably be like a Glock Fade, or maybe a Desert Eagle Blaze. Uh, those are two really iconic legendary skins that I would really like to have in my inventory. Will you make more sticker combos and when? Currently, I'm trying to make one sticker combo video per week, um, so we're gonna see how that goes. Uh, the last uploaded CSGO video was for the M4A4 Dragon King, so check it out if you haven't seen it already. Um, and then, what do you prefer? Super important one, the Glock Weasel or the Water Elemental? Personally, I prefer the Water Elemental. I believe it is a classified pistol and the Glock Weasel is a mil spec. No, it's a um, restricted pistol. So um, yeah, I mean, I'd have to go with the classified one on this one. And I'm not just saying that just because of the skin's rarity. Um, I really do like the artwork more than the Glock Weasel, um, but either way, both are really nice skins. Moving on, inventory showcase, please. Really soon, guys, really soon really soon. How did you get your name? Alright, so when I was first planning my YouTube channel, I tried to find a short nickname that was uh, short, sweet, and to the point. It rolled off your tongue, it was easy to pronounce, uh, memorable. So I just looked up a bunch of uh, two-syllable words um, on the internet, and uh, sure enough, I found Fano, which was apparently a city in Italy. It's also a name for many people in the world, so uh, that's actually kind of interesting. However, I did spend a considerable amount of time on this. The name is so important when you're starting a YouTube channel and a brand. It took me a while, and and um, uh, maybe one day I'll share with you guys some of the other names that I was planning on uh, using. Um, but in the end, I ended up going with Fano, and I have no regrets. What do you think is the worst skin in CSGO? The worst skin in CSGO is the PP Bison Harvester. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, I made a video on it, or on um, the worst uh, SMG skins in the game. Um, so be sure to check that video out when you guys get a chance. It's a very old video. Shout out to my OG homies who saw it when it first came out. However, moving on, is your school finished and what are you currently doing besides YouTube? Um, so my school is not finished. Um, I am going to be starting another school year in university. And uh, what are you currently doing besides YouTube? Uh, yeah, I'm a full-time student. So yeah, that's what I do. Which came first, hen or egg? I'm gonna go with team egg on this one. What do you guys think? Let me know. What motivated you to start a YouTube channel and what response were you expecting from the community? Um, could you already feel that your channel would grow so fast? Is there anyone else involved around your content or is it all you? That's a great question. Thank you, Johan. Um, I would say what motivated me to start a YouTube channel? Uh, 
gosh, I don't know. I mean, I was watching a lot of CSGO videos, um, and I saw, uh, you know, McSkillet obviously doing his stuff, and um, Anomaly, and a few other YouTubers out there who were making a lot of skin videos. But to be honest, guys, when I saw that McSkillet stopped doing YouTube videos, I thought that that was a very nice opportunity for me to pick up where he left off, um, continue to spread that uh, passion and that joy for skins and CSGO, um, and do some crazy stunts, some crazy CSGO videos. I have so much more planned, guys. So I really hope you guys subscribe and stay tuned for more videos, guys. The best is yet to come and uh, as for what response you were expecting from the community I wasn't expecting a whole lot I mean obviously you have to have some level of belief and you have to believe in yourself um, but uh, other than that I mean I, I didn't expect to uh, have 5,000 subscribers in seven months or so but at the same time I also didn't expect to blow up to a hundred thousand subscribers like McSkilla did in a couple of uh, weeks or so or whatever that was I mean times are different guys everybody has their own journey their own opportunity their own moment uh, in time so um I don't know, I'm just happy with what's going on so far, with the level of growth that I've been getting, and I'm really thankful and grateful for all of you guys. And then to answer your last question, there is nobody else who is involved in my content. It is 100% me. I do my own stunts. Alright, so where do you get your main income from to supply videos like your previous one? He's obviously talking about my 1000 sticker capsules unboxing, and as for where I get my main income from, I do have a part-time job. I spend my days working with computers, programming and stuff like that. But yes, it definitely helps to have a steady income, especially when you're trying to build a YouTube channel. Which professional CS team do you support and your favorite player? My favorite CSGO team would probably be, I mean, it used to be Virtus Pro, um, but now it's Liquid, you know, North America for the win. And then for my favorite player, it would probably have to be Pasha Biceps. He is the man. Do you remember me when you had 100 subs? Crazy how far you got, man. Yes, of course I remember you, Zarp. Um, I, uh, I remember all of my OG homies, the first couple of subscribers, like, I still remember you guys, um, and I'm really thankful that, uh, so many of you are still with me today, and I will never forget you guys, believe me. I also won't forget the people that actively comment on my newer videos, so if you guys are regularly commenting on my new videos, it's very likely that I will not forget you guys. Alright, so when are you uploading CSGO gameplay again? Also, play Office Map. To answer your question, I really don't know when my next gameplay video will be. Uh, I'd hope soon, but I'm still trying to find my identity, my identity as a gaming YouTuber. Um, I still don't know if I want to only stick with CSGO skins. Do I want to expand to gameplay? Do I want to expand to other games? I still have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm still growing, guys. I still only have 5,000 subscribers only. But jokes aside, I honestly don't know. I will definitely be looking for feedback and suggestions from you guys, so make sure you guys are actively taking a look at the community posts. And keep giving me your constructive criticism on all of my videos. It really does help a lot and makes me become a better YouTuber. How exactly did you build up your inventory? To be quite honest with you, I played the game. When you've been around for a long time and since the uh, early days of CSGO, you, like, you'll have old skins and old um, cases that are now going for tons of uh, money. Uh, you know, over the years, I've been selling those items. I've been, uh, you know, investing in uh, opportunities here and there with different majors and different uh, collectibles, if you will. Also, getting a part-time job also helps. So, um, you know, any sort of job will always help you because you'll have extra side money to spend on your inventory. When are you making a Minecraft video? LMAO. Was this a joke or do you actually want me to make Minecraft videos? The only reason I ask is because I really like Minecraft and I've been playing it for a long time on and off, of course. And um, yeah, I think it would be very interesting if I did start a Minecraft series or start making videos on Minecraft. Honestly, if there wasn't CSGO, I would probably be doing Minecraft videos. But to answer your question, it goes back to that identity crisis thing where I just don't know exactly what I want to do with this channel. Do I want to make it a complete gaming channel where I just take a look at popular games like CSGO, obviously? Um, or do I want to create a separate channel dedicated to actual gameplay of various different games like CSGO or Minecraft or whatever else? Um, so uh, I don't know, guys. Uh, I I will try to have an answer for you soon. I would love your feedback in the meantime, so comment below what you guys think, as well as stay tuned for future community posts. Would you make a video where you play with your subscribers? First of all, thank you for that comment, Dovla. To answer your question, yes, I would love to play with my subscribers and potentially make a YouTube video. Um, but again, of course, I have to figure out first what I want to do with uh, the Fano channel. Do I want to create a separate channel? Do I just put it all here? Um, and uh, we'll hopefully get that resolved really soon because I enjoy both aspects of CSGO. I like the skins, I like the gameplay, 
I also like other games too, so I mean, honestly, I really don't know at this point. A lot of you guys also want me to start streaming, and then at that point, like, what do I do? Do I stream on this channel? Do I stream on another channel? How is it all gonna work? So I hope to have all these questions answered really soon, but in the meantime, for the time being, I will continue to post my regular skin videos on this channel, um, and uh, even if I do make a separate channel, the skin videos will not go away, so don't be afraid if you guys are only here for the skins. Why do you do skins vids? More team loadouts. Uh, yes, there will be definitely more team loadouts in the near future, so stay tuned for that, and uh... To answer your main question, why I chose skins, I love skins, and I've been playing CSGO ever since it came out. I've been, from the very beginning of when skins were first introduced to this game, I feel like I have so much knowledge and experience with CSGO skins that uh, I just want to share it with you guys and help you guys out, help the new guys, help the new CSGO player who just started out and doesn't know anything about CSGO skins or the Steam community market or trading and uh, wants to learn and uh, improve their inventory, you know, like I want to help those people and that's really the main reason. I want to help and I want to continue to spread the love of CSGO, the love of skins, and just to be an overall positive member of the CSGO community. Alright, so this video is getting long as it is, uh, but if you're still watching, I have a lot more, so I'm gonna have to start blitzing through these. Um, do you think that the next major content update, not necessarily an operation, will bring back the operation drops? The short answer is no, I don't think they're gonna bring back those old collections. Um, they will probably renew those collections for future operations, because um, those collections are pretty old, guys, like five year old collections. They're probably retired if you ask me, but again, nobody really knows. I'm not a CSGO dev, so I cannot tell you for sure. What's your favorite CSGO skin under $10? It would have to probably be an Opatheris minimal wear. How did you get all those levels on Steam before the summer sale? So to answer your question, I invested in Operation Hydra cases when they were still under a dollar, and then right before I started my YouTube channel, I decided to cash out and sell them all for around 3 to $4. So I made some pretty good profit, and I decided to use that money for Steam trading cards so that I can level up my Steam profile and look like a G. What is the highest rank you've ever been in CS? The highest rank I've ever been in CSGO was Supreme Master First Class. That's the second highest rank you can get. And uh, this was back in, uh, I believe, December of 2015. I was just about one or two wins away from getting Global Elite. And then Valve decided to release the CSGO D rank update. And you guys know the rest. Does your family know you're doing YouTube and do they support your work? Uh, yes, they do know that I'm doing YouTube. And of course, they support me. What's the most memorable moment you had in CSGO? Go. My most memorable moment in CSGO was the Katowice 2019 Major because that's when I first started my YouTube channel. That's where it all began. I started making videos from there and it really took off. So I will never forget that Major and I will never forget that moment in CSGO. How did you first get into CS and how long have you been playing? Um, I first got into CS back in 2012 uh, during the Steam Summer Sale. I believe Counter-Strike Source was uh, on sale and I was like, hey, that's a pretty interesting shooter. I'm tired of playing Call of Duty all the time. Let's try this out. I bought Counter-Strike Source and I had a blast playing it all summer and then August came around and I heard about a new game that was coming out, CSGO, um, and I bought it when it first came out and the rest is history. I wanted to know about new content and if there will be new themes, maybe other games or something. I decided to include this comment in this video because uh, yes, this is a very good topic, a very interesting topic right now. My channel is still growing, I still want to do a lot of skin related stuff, but then of course there are so many other games out there like Minecraft or um, CSGO gameplay play videos that I could be doing um, and that you guys could probably be interested in. But yes, to answer your question, I do plan on doing something with those games. Um, I just haven't had time to formulate the right strategy. So any feedback from you guys would greatly be appreciated. Do you see yourself being at the level that McSkillet was? I'm assuming you mean subscribers when you say levels. So I'm going to say yes, I do see myself. And uh, yeah, you always have to have high hopes. You always have to keep believing, set goals for yourself. I honestly have a huge goal that I want to share with you guys. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I really believe that it is possible and I will be grinding my butt off until I make it happen. Your thoughts about the new cash collection? There's a new cash collection? All right, so I already answered most of this question, but uh, where are you from? I am from the United States on the East Coast. So I hope that was the answer you were looking for. Um, and then the next question here is, uh, can you beat me in a 1v1? Of course I can, Juice, come on. CSGO is celebrating 20 years now, an epic run for a game. Can you see it continuing? How can it keep current? Yeah, I definitely see CSGO continuing. I mean, it's definitely a game that uh, has a long, rich history. The game franchise uh, continues to uh, gather new fans. Um, and it always brings you back. It's one of those games that, like, you want to quit, but you can't. You lose, you lose the will to quit this game. It's not like, 
uh, a game that has huge popularity and then it just plummets to the ground. It's not one of those games at all. Um, so yes, it can keep current uh, and I think it will. I mean, as long as Valve continues uh, to uh, promote it, continues to uh, make money from it and uh, hopefully continues to sponsor majors and uh, keep increasing the prize pool, whether it be from operations or uh, battle passes like they do in other games. Um, either way, I do definitely see this game growing, continuing to grow. Um, so it's definitely here to stay for many more years to come. Favorite AK-47 skin, and do you prefer whole milk or 2%? Whole milk all the way, baby! Um, and then for the AK-47 skin, it would probably have to be the Empress. Your favorite skin? I think I'm going to go with the Howl. It's just such a nice skin. Who are your favorite CSGO YouTubers? Um, currently, I don't watch that many YouTubers. Um, I just focus on my own channel, so I don't really have a favorite one. In all honesty, the only CSGO YouTubers that I really watch um, on YouTube are uh, pro players, so uh, Flom, and uh, Mr. Content, and they're not even 100% YouTubers, they're mainly Twitch streamers. What is your favorite sticker or signature from the new Star Ladder Major? My favorite uh, player autograph would probably be James' autograph, I think it looks really nice. And of course, James time. What is your favorite knife? Uh, my favorite knife? Oh, that's a tough one. There's so many good knives to choose from. If I were to pick one, it would probably be either an Autotronic Karambit or maybe a Tiger Tooth Bayonet or something like that, you know? I'm not into that all uh, shiny ruby emerald stuff. I mean, those black pearls out there thinking they're so cool. No, but in all honesty, guys, I don't really care that much with knives. I think with knives, the more realistic it looks, the better. What is your favorite food? Uh, it'd probably have to be ice cream. I'm a huge ice cream fan. Like, I could eat ice cream for days. How many Prisma cases have you opened? I think I've only ever opened 15 of them, and that was for a YouTube video back when it first came out. Um, if you guys still haven't checked it out, I unboxed quite the skin from that video, so I highly recommend you guys take a look at that video. But yeah, guys, that's the end of this video. Sorry if it was a little bit on the long side, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. Here's to another 5,000 more subscribers. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video. So until next time, this is Fano, signing out.